Welcome back and here's our update for the first half of this week. So these are the lights that I ordered um, I guess a week or so ago that we're going to use for landing taxi lights and we're going to mount them to the fork, the front fork. So actually it'll be neat when you turn um, the wheel they'll follow uh, where you're looking. So anyway they're HID lights, the 30 watts and 1800 lumens so we'll see how they work out for us on the prototype. And this is something you haven't seen yet. This is an adapter plate that we actually quickly designed only really only a week ago and just sent it off um, to have it milled by the guys at Corrugated who who did our drive shafts. And uh, they've already done it. So it only took them like three days, four days to do it, um, which is pretty amazing. And that's over the weekend as well. So they really only took them a day to do it. Um, so pretty happy about that. And that's going between the um, flywheel on the engine and the Elpex adapter which is the torsional damper between the engine and the belt drive system. Meanwhile here's the left wing spar plug, that, so that one's now been finished off the machine and here's Zach just uh, spraying the guide coat on there so it uh, can get its first round of sanding. And I uh, didn't have too many issues with that one, it's, you know, big and unwieldy and stuff to deal with but you know, it is what it is. And uh, here's you see Keith's already working on there and Zach's already done quite a bit on there on the other one and, and this one over here is um, quite a ways long as well it just needs a little bit of work on the edge there uh, we're just going to use the router to, to run that edge around there but we need to build it up a little bit more um, before we can do that and then that'll be ready for primer so it's time to get the aft bulkhead that's already been bonded to the main spar and the tank and all that good stuff uh, to get that uh, bonded into the fuselage so I just basically got everything cleaned out of there and and uh, vacuum the whole thing so we can start getting that organized and here I've uh, prepped the surface where it's going to bond there by giving another sanding uh, with 80 grit and then wiping it down with some denatured al alcohol and just masked it off there so you know I don't end up getting um, a whole bunch of um, the high sole everywhere and this is the mating surface so again just gave that a quick sand one more time with 80 grit and wiped it down with um, denatured alcohol so that's all ready and prepped now so getting close to doing that one. And you're probably getting sick of looking at these ones, but here's the guys just a little bit further along on these uh, wing spar plugs. So they're still going to be in the picture for quite a while to come yet. Uh, anyway, so I don't know anything about doing stuff with bonding with high sole. So I got Jeff's expert advice all the way along here. So I've mixed up the high sole there in the right ratio and um, giving it a good mix there for about 10 minutes or so and again Jeff's basically I'm back and forth to Jeff and making sure that you know I'm doing everything the right way because I haven't done this before I watched Jeff do it but I haven't done it myself anyway so that's the mixing process there and here I'm actually just sort of putting it down where the bonding surface is and again Jeff basically told me exactly what I needed to do and using a little squeegee trowel there with a tooth on it kind of like you do when you're laying tile out on a on a tile floor in like your bathroom or whatever and getting that sorted out so anyway, in the meantime Jeff and uh, Devin working on uh, laying up this uh, door frame and so this is the left side door frame that's been sitting in the shop for quite a while but finally time to get it done so they're in the process of doing that and you see everything's already pretty much laid out now they're just putting the peel ply down and in, um, in preparation for uh, putting the vacuum bag on there so nice to see that one uh, pretty much almost done. And here Zach and Keith are uh, lifting that bulkhead you know with the spar into place and I'm working there with um, getting some Clecos in place and ultimately ended, uh, ended up uh, exchanging them for rivets there and making sure it's pushed in nicely there and we're getting a good sort of squeeze out with all the high sole and uh, everything was looking good on that so happy with how that turned out so far. And here's Jeff and Devin. You can see everybody's working at 16 times normal speed today, which is good because we've got tons done. <laughs> so <laughs> here's Jeff and Devin. They're just putting the bag on there um, so that one uh, can get um, drawn under the vacuum. And uh, no problems really with this one. This one uh, should be fine. And uh, it'll probably be released tomorrow or the next day. And here's the uh, result of all their work this afternoon. So under vacuum and uh, looking good. So that's great. 
to have the last of the door frames um, done now so all these parts now that are just ready to be bonded together so that's what we're going to be doing for a while now and here's the result of um, today's effort there putting that bulkhead in place and you see I've taken the tape off there and gone and just uh, run with the uh, little craft stick there and smoothed it all out um, and just put a nice sort of little radius there on where the seam is and you'll see the same on the back side there uh, just smoothed it out just put a little radius in there so it kind of looks neat and tidy so that one's uh, all done now and we make sure we made sure that it was all plumb and everything like that so happy about that and uh, on to the next step which will be the aft pressure bulkhead getting uh, bonded in anyway that's our update for the first half of this week and thanks again for watching